This is a package from QRP Guys. Uh, I, I'm not sure who Doug is. I, I don't think that's the same Hendrix from Hendrix Kits. I'm not sure. In any event, I ordered it from a website called QRP Guys. Pretty nice website. And it contains a kit. Bubble wrap and a kit. Get all the components out of here. So the hell of it will take a look at the ground lead. Or whatever it is, I think it's ground lead. And you see it's not soldered. Uh, but for I think this kit costs all of ten dollars. So I can't fault them for this. So we have a little lead piece of metal. Looks like brazing wire, brazing rod. Diode, resistor, capacitor. This is heat shrink. Screw. Nut washer. A BNC jack with a little bit of bending to the leads. So there's a BNC. Alright, so we've seen the contents. What we've got here is an RF probe with a di difficulty level of dead easy. Parts list, enlarged board layout. Instructions on how to install it. How to make point on this how to sharpen it and a picture of what it's going to look like except it's going to have clear shrink wrap and the schematic. What we've got here is a, a ground, a uh, probe, this will be the ground, this will be sharpened to a point so it's a probe. We've got a rectifier and a resistor to a BNC connector. Essentially this is an AMD modulator. I have this information and this information as well as a whole bunch of other probe information, different kinds of probes and different uses for probes in the subdirectory listed below. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, assemble this thing. So most of the work is going to be preparing this rod. So I'll do everything else the easy way. Diode is polarized, has a black band on one end that lines up with the silk screening. Now this capacitor has formed leads on it. It will require that they be unformed, straightened out.
Now don't push these flush cutters down tight against the board. Hold them a little bit proud of the board so that you don't shear off the solder pad. Since I'm going to have to re-solder this anyway, I'm going to put some silicone insulated wire on it. So when you're fastening this white wire or ground wire, I assume they have different colors. You want to take it down through the big hole and up through the bottom hole and solder it. So the insulation is stripped off here and passes through this hole. So it passes through the big hole from the top down like that. Then we'll strip off the insulation. Pass it up through the bottom hole. and put a little lead on it. It provides a nice little strain relief so that we're not tugging on the, the tinned wire. I've been paying more attention and talking less, I would have noticed that C1 does not go here. It goes here. So that takes care of putting all the components on the board. And you see what we're up against? That's not going to fit. I mean, it's just... And their recommendation is to uh, take a file, I'll put this in a drill bit, and file this down until it fits. Uh, file it down until it fits in the hole. Uh, I think I'm going to try to find another one of these. The next larger size is blue. And I can't fit that in either. Or yellow. Yellow fits very easily. Now that I would recommend a ring terminal. If you could find a cheap Chinese terminal, this would be great. But American-made terminals are soldered on this seam. So you can't expand them very easily. I found one of the Chinese crimp terminals, but the barrel on them is not uh, soldered. So I just opened them up with a pair of pliers put it on the end of the rod and I'll use the gun for some additional heat. There we go. 
Now I did uh, chuck this rod in a drill. I laid some uh, aluminum oxide paper down and rotated it in a drill bit until I put a point on it. I suppose to put this on the bottom of the board. Put the screw up through it. Lock washer and a nut. Tighten this up. At this point all the work's been done. Take this piece of heat shrink. Guess we'll cut the shrink wrap. I think the shrink wrap should come about there. like that and I'm guessing they don't mention in the instructions but they provided this piece which I guess the cut may be this long slide this all together take our heat gun And I think that's done. So there is a QRP Guys Simple RF Probe. I'll do a video on how to use it and why I built it uh, sometime in the future. It's worth visiting the uh, QRP guys website just to look at the old time photographs of radio as it was in the 20s and 30s. Probably the late 20s. Well, thank you for watching.